Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy JR. Y'all boys know I'm back with another banger. And in this video, we have a few different things that we need to talk about. First off, today NBA 2K21 released the cover athlete for the Legend Edition on both current and next gen consoles. And as we expected, it is Kobe Bryant and that's only right so can i get a huge r.i.p for kobe in the comment section let me know what you guys think of the covers i think they look extremely dope for all versions of the game but especially the kobe bryant one again a huge r.i.p now with that being said we have a few different things that we need to discuss in this video so this year the release of NBA 2K20 is different from any other year because there's going to be two different versions of the game being released for current gen and next gen console and this hasn't happened since NBA 2K15 and back on 2K15 whenever that happened we were able to upgrade the game for free and then we were also able to transfer over our player rep progression all that over to next gen console and as of right now i'm still trying to do my research but as of right now it appears that that's not going to be possible going into next gen gaming now with that being said there's currently four different versions of the game that you guys can get and the best deal right now is to get the legend edition of the game because that allows you to get, to get it on current gen and next gen console now with that being said if you guys um only buy the regular edition of the game that gets released on september 4th then you will then have to buy the next gen version of the game again for $79. So if you guys are are you know planning on getting the next gen console, then you guys are definitely going to want to get the legend edition of the game because when you do that, you're spending $100 and then you get both versions of the game because it will come with a code for the next gen version of the game. Now with that being said, here's a list of everything that is included in the Legend Edition of the game. And for me, as a park player only, it's not a very good deal just because you're only getting 100,000 VC. And generally, what I do is I'll buy the center version of the game and then I'll buy another $50 worth of VC, which will give me 200k VC, which is usually enough to get my player maxed all the way up. But this year, since you're having to buy the legend edition of the game for a hundred bucks i'm probably going to spend another 30 or 50 dollars to get another 100k vc just to get my player where he needs to be however if you play like my team the my team mode then the legend edition will probably be a good deal for you because you're also getting 10,000 10, my team points, 10 my team tokens, and then some other you know dope stuff as well. But since it only comes with 100k VC, it's not a very good deal as far as that goes. However, I'm definitely going to get the legend uh, legend edition of the game just because it gives me both versions. So whenever I upgrade to next gen consoles, I don't have to worry about buying the game over again. So the biggest question that we have right now is whenever we transfer over our information to next gen consoles, where are, will our mod players transfer over? And this is why we need a mod team community manager or someone that can speak up and answer our questions as of right now. Because if I'm just a casual player, I'm not pre-ordering anything until I get some information. Now with that being said, I know we have Ronnie2k, but you know his famous quote for this year might be, you guys can upgrade your players next gen console, but you can believe whatever you want. So it's hard to believe anything Ronnie2k says, but as of right now, this is from a 2K developer and this tweet came from all around NBA 2K and here is a screenshot. So it's saying important information about the PS4, Xbox, PS5, Xbox X versions are connected at NBA 2K21. Although the new generation version is being created from scratch, 2K has developed two initiatives, crossed progression and my team and shared VC wallet. Now with that being said, it looks like our VC will transfer, transfer over and it looks like our my team progression will transfer over as well but what i'm also seeing from nba 2k support and you guys can take this with a grain of salt because i don't know if you guys have ever contacted 2k support but they generally are not very helpful and they generally don't know what they're talking about and i'm not i'm not trying to be rude i'm just saying so this came from nba 2k 21 uh twitter and what it is is a screenshot of somebody contacting 2k support so his question was okay thank you i live in south america so i would still receive the game 
or is it only for us and he said and he said you should be able to receive the game and then he had a final question do you know if the per progress i have and my career will transfer to the ps5 for example if i'm 99 overall superstar one on ps4 will that will that transfer over to ps5 and he says unfortunately no each console has their own unique save to that particular console and they're not interchangeable which is you know a big l if we cannot transfer over our mob players over to next gen consoles because i don't want to have to grind a player and then grind his badges and then two months later whenever next gen consoles comes out i have to regrind the player all over again get the badges all over again and all that and the as far as like the my career progression goes i don't care if i don't if it doesn't save the my career story because let's let's just be honest the my career could be completely different between two both two versions of the game and you know if the rep doesn't carry over either like i said there might not even be park rep in the new version of the game because we really don't know 2k already said that they rebuilt the game from scratch so f from what i'm getting from everything so far i feel like both versions of the game are going to be completely different now my big thing is if i spend vc on a mob player and if i can't transfer over my player to next gen console if i spend vc on that player will all my vc that i spent on that on that player be gone as well like i'm saying there's just so many questions that we need to answer before you know anyone can really decide if they should pre-order the game or not but right now it's looking like you cannot transfer over your player which could be a huge l let me know what you guys think and let me know if you guys are planning on pre-ordering the game for current gen console or if you guys are going to wait until the until the ps5 or xbox one x series release to get nba 2k20 on next gen console so there's a few other things that i wanted to show you guys in this video this screenshot right here that you're seeing basically confirms parker up will be back in nba 2k21 and then you're saying you know you get 60 60 skill boost 30 gatorade boost shoe collection 72 hours of double rep and then a spray ground backpack and ball unlocked at my rep level pro one so that confirms there's gonna be backpacks back rep and then it also says spray ground backpack so do you guys think that there might actually be different like parks or playgrounds that will be in nba 2k21 let me know what you guys think so like i said we can expect the game to release on september 4th so that has been confirmed and then i also wanted to show you guys another screenshot um this was from nba 2k21 leaks and news on twitter and then it's a first look at nba 2k21 my team cards so there's a few different things there i mean cars look pretty dope and these are just some other things that you can unlock i'm pretty sure these are some of the things that you get whenever you buy the legend edition of the game so like i said that makes it makes it kind of worth getting the legend edition if you actually play my team but like i said for me since i'm a park only player then i generally you know just need the vc but like i said since it comes with the leg the next gen version of the game for free i'm just going to go ahead and buy that version just because overall it's going to be a better deal so this last screenshot that i want to show you guys of this video also came from nba 2k21 leaks and news and what you're seeing is a screenshot and it says next gen versions will have two second loading screens which i've already showed you guys new gameplay features and expanded game modes so overall i'm super excited for nba 2k21 i just hope the transition between current gen and next gen consoles will be like worth it and hassle free because i really don't want to have to restart my player all over again two months two months later if that makes sense so hopefully 2k finds a way that finds a way to do it that will be you know not as frustrating but thank y'all boys so much for all support man drop a like drop a sub i'm out peace